so I just wanted to say a few words. Um, uh, most importantly, that we, Google, are very, very excited to be supporting Tick Tech again this year. Uh, it's been super exciting to see um, and hear everybody here, the great talks, the discussions in the hallways and so forth over the last day and a half. Um, very impressive to see uh, all the great work being done by the people in the organizations here, helping to give people a voice, um, helping people connect with those in power, helping people to access uh, critical, important services. So we also believe it's really, really important to understand and measure the impact of the, the work that we are all doing, the products we're building um, in the civic tech space, and to share um, the research we're doing around that, to learn from each other, to learn from what's working, and uh, even more importantly, for, from our failure, failures and what's not working. And of course, that's all, why we're all here this week. Um, Google has been involved with Tech Tech um, since the first conference when we shared some of our research around uh, interested bystanders. And that was looking at what motivates people to do things that are civic and what holds them back, what, what are some of the barriers to engagement. And a number of folks in this room, um, academics, practitioners, Others help contribute to that research and inform it. Um, so thank you for that. And then in subsequent years, we talked about how that interested bystander research and subsequent research that we've done at Google helped to inform our product strategy uh, and design for some of our election products on search. Um, and um, uh, talked about how some of the, those products um, played out in elections around the world, including in the US, India, the UK, Kenya, Brazil, Mexico, and so forth. And these are products um, sort of on the uh, voter assistant side, as, as that's what we, we term it, um, helping people understand who's on their ballot, um, figure out how to register to vote, where to vote, and then of course seeing election results as they come in. I uh, also was really happy to see my colleague Felipe Hoffa give a talk yesterday here about the practicalities and considerations for sharing and managing large public data sets. So thanks for Felipe for coming uh, again to Tech Tech this year and sharing that talk with everybody. So just a couple quick updates on some of the work we are doing on the Google search team. Uh, I'm the research lead for our social impact group uh, within Google Search, um, and this group, the Social Impact Group, encompasses a number of different product teams, including our health search team, education, our employment team, uh, civic engagement, of course, which you're probably most familiar with, our crisis response team, and our social good team, which focuses on philanthropy and giving. And to be completely honest with you, uh, the majority of our research focus, and myself as a UX researcher, um, but the research focus of my team to date has mostly supported product definition and design, um, and only scratched the surface uh, in terms of measuring the impact um, beyond traditional metrics used by the search team. And so some of our traditional metrics are things like uh, impressions, interactions, daily active users, and so forth, but we want to change that, and hopefully um, we can change that together. Uh, and I can, you know, we can all learn, um, uh, specifically Google and search can learn from the great work that you're doing um, and try and bring some of that social impact um, measurement to, to the work that we're doing. So um, some of the things we're working on these days within search, you've, if you've used search lately, you've probably noticed that more and more content um, is, uh, and information authoritative content is being brought right onto the search results page um, across many different domains, right? Like sports and entertainment and so forth. Um, basically, Google is moving from being an answer engine to being a task engine. Uh, for example, being able to make a restaurant reservation, to be able to donate to a nonprofit, to be able to sign up to receive food assistance right from the search results page. And so one of the teams I work with is Health Search, as I mentioned. And we recently launched um, a product uh, uh, on search for over 2,000 health conditions and related treat treatments and, and uh, uh, symptoms. 
after finding that many people, when they're searching online and looking for information related to health online, um, those suffering from chronic health conditions and other health conditions uh, can find it challenging to find quality authoritative uh, content that they can trust. Right, so we partnered with the Mayo Clinic and the Harvard Medical School to take authoritative health information and make it available on search. Uh, we work closely with these partners to, to translate and visualize this uh, content to make, to make sure that we're able to reach those with lower health literacy and just lower literacy in general. So I promise to keep this short. Uh, and I guess I have one question for you, which is how can we leverage Google search uh, as a civic platform? And I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, and feedback on how Google can support your work and efforts. And because I work on Google Search, I'm particularly interested in how Search can support your work. So follow up with me here um, in the hallways. I'm also available uh, via email at jweb at google.com. Reach out at any, at any time with any thoughts. And that's, that's it. Uh, thank you very much, and enjoy the, the rest of the conference.